local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. It's very nice out there right now, and it will be at this point tomorrow, but it's after 6 p.m. that a winter storm watch goes into effect for pretty much all of the area. This is 6 p.m. tomorrow until midday Sunday. National Weather Service says that they'll kind of trim away at this, be it winter weather advisories or winter storm warnings for different parts of the area. That'll happen if not tonight, then at some point tomorrow. A cold front that moved through this morning, that's moving slowly toward the east, so an area of low pressure is going to develop along that and ride into our area and give us the better chance for some snow Saturday night and into Sunday morning. So this is not going to be an all weekend kind of thing. Let me show you how it plays out. Future tracker 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. Most of us are dry. It's after 9 or 10 p.m. that we start to see snow filling in. However, for Lynchburg, for south side, you'll be pretty warm tomorrow afternoon. So this may actually start out as some rain and some sleet for you, cutting down on snow totals a little bit. But there you see the widespread snow overnight tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. We'll fast forward to about four or five o'clock in the morning where you could see a little bit of a break in the action. I really think it's after seven or eight o'clock in uh, on Sunday morning that we're done with this weather system. May just have a few upslope snow showers, especially as you go toward the west facing slopes of West Virginia, but a little sunshine as we go through the rest of the day Sunday. But still looking at a decent accumulation. This is our first call snow map. So again, subject to some changes, but we think for areas like Martinsville, Danville, Chatham, South Boston, Alta Vista, Appomattox, Charlotte Courthouse. You're looking at one to three inches of snow because you could see a little bit of rain and sleet at the beginning of this. Elsewhere, Roanoke, Rocky Mount, Bedford from Lynchburg to areas north like Lexington and Buena Vista, Botetot, Covington, Hot Springs, Craig County, all of the New River Valley. You're looking at about three to perhaps six inches of snow, and there's the possibility that we see a narrow band of isolated higher totals. So having said that snow on the roads through Sunday morning, that's a decent uh, probability of that happening. But the good thing with this is that we're not expecting a lot of wind. So I don't expect power outages, blowing snow, strong wind, wind damage, anything like that. This is purely just going to be a little bit of a messy situation on the road Saturday night into Sunday morning. We'll keep you posted every step of the way, as we always do with your local weather authority app. Make sure you look in your phone's app store for WSLS 10 weather, and you should get that like that. All right, so for the weekend, temperature is about 45 to 50 degrees tomorrow afternoon. We'll start with sun, we'll end with clouds. Even after the snow moves out of the area Sunday morning, look at that. Temperatures make their way into the 40s for most of the area. So what does fall, some of that will actually melt Sunday afternoon. Looking beyond that, the jet stream not going to buckle too much. So the Arctic air stays far north for now, but it's loading up. And there's every indication that we could actually see that cold air drop south later next week, heading into Valentine's Day weekend. And with the, with the jet stream storm track, excuse me, farther to the south and that cold air around, could be looking at the possibility of more wintry weather late next week into Valentine's Day weekend. That's purely speculative right now. So let's get through one system at a time. Your extended forecast for the area temperatures in the 40s and 50s this afternoon, 40s again tomorrow afternoon, a little cooler Sunday behind our snow. But again, most of Super Bowl Sunday will be dry. In fact, kickoff we're dry. Things looking pretty good by the evening, though still some slick spots on side roads. We're cold on Monday with temperatures rising a little bit Tuesday and gradually falling as we go through the rest of next week.